Welcome to another video of the Calf. Please sit back, grab some snacks, and check out this visual. But before you do so, please exclude all of the noise that's in the background. It's basically my air, my air conditioner, whatever the case. Hopefully y'all can hear me just fine. If not, hey, that's what it is. Also, the original music video is not gonna be played in its entirety in the video. So the whole video is not gonna be inside of my video. Just letting you know that now before you find out. <laughs> also, put a video or a song that you want me to check out down below so I have more so I can check out some stuff y'all like. All right, this one is called Sacrifice by Lil' Key. Um, let's get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Lil' Baby signed him. I just want to get that out of the way. That's mainly how I realized who he was. And so from there, I'm here. Let me smell your dick. Nigga, I'm on other lights. I get a bell from counterfeit. Here, you know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe for more content. Leave your request videos, whoever you want me to check out down below so I can get hit. To some old new <laughs> bro, boy, bro, this shit hard, right, bro. He said before you leave, he said before you leave, let me smell your shit. <laughs> That's catchy, bro. That's catchy. I think, bro. Um, now that I think about it, on the last song I checked out by myself, I said that he don't write. What I noticed before he started the song, he play around with melodies. That's why his songs is catchy, bro. A lot of people that play around with melodies, they have a way with creating the actual music because all they have to do is punch in what they, what they, I forgot what it's called. Damn, what I forgot, I forgot what it's called. All they have to do is like fill in the words, but they like playing around. Like, it's kind of like they, you know what I'm saying? Like, they kind of just like doing that the whole time over the beat they listening to. And then they just like kind of fill in whatever. It, I don't know, that's, doing it like that to me is hard. It's harder than, punching in but I don't know I feel like you create better by by, uh, by harmonizing I guess and then we'll hit I ain't gonna lie but this this mug is so catchy bro now you know what it is you know what would be lit though if shot by wolf if the person is shooting these videos it's actually like one of his mans you know what i'm saying because kind of like nba young boy when he came up he had like a group of his people around him but they like always working you know what i'm saying like david g like he going crazy um with the visuals and people hitting him up but before nba young boy i, re I didn't really hear him hear about him like that All that money you gonna pay for sliding on my house. You know, boy, damn, it's throwing rocks away. This is fire. I know the song is super, super catchy. That's why it's gonna go, because it's catchy. What would this like this is a goofy. Bro, you're gonna have dislikes regardless. You, little baby, hardest rapper. Wait, so, rough from Houston? What? Never heard this dude before. Oh, what is saying? Atlanta right here. Bruh said, hold up now. I don't know. Bruh Bruh said, he the baby hardest artist. I don't know, man. Cause Rilo go hard. I ain't even gonna. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know. It's tough. I feel like Rilo obviously been in the game longer, so that's with that. I guess uh. 
with that leverage or whatever, him being long, I, I don't know. But I'm trying to figure out where the baby find all these artists from, like signing people back to back. It feel like he like setting up, setting up a little young money or something like. Cause when they came out, like all the artists and stuff, I feel like they was going crazy, like unstoppable type stuff. I don't know, I think this one was hard though. Very catchy. And you know, the traditional. Vibes. 